Hey streamers and welcome to part 5 and the final part of our Create Your Video Streaming website series with WP Stream. So in the previous video, we showed you how to go live, create video on demand, monetize your content and enable regular users to go live just like on Twitch. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create lists of live channels as well as lists of video on demand, whether they're free to view or pay per view. So this is how it looks like before um, and this is how it looks like after. This is how it's going to look like by the end of this tutorial. So make sure to keep watching. The first thing I want to do is create a bunch of uh, live channels. So both free to view and pay per view live channels, as well as a bunch of uh, free to view video on demand and pay per view video on demand. This is just so I can show you how you can add all of these to the list on a specific page. So I'm not going to be explaining how to create the live channels because you can check out part one to see how I do it. And you can also check out part two to find out how I take these live recordings and create video on demand from them. In part three, I'll show you, I showed you how to monetize your live channels and video on demand. So I've created my live channels. Now I'm creating my VOD. And just as before, you add your title, your bio, image, and things like that. So after I've published this and I just created a new free to view VOD and a new pay-per-view VOD, I'm then going to show you how all my channels look like together. So I'm going to WP stream all channels, as you can see here are my free to view live channels and pay-per-view live channels. And I'm going to be turning on just three of the five channels and you will find out why later. So make sure you quickly turn those on, make sure they're active. And of course, if you want to go live, you can either go live from the browser or with an external streaming app such as OBS and the server and stream keys are both here. So now let's create the lists. So I'm going back to my website and clicking on lives and VODs. So this is where I want to add the lists. Of course, you can do separate pages, each for one for live streaming and one for video on demand to make it more organized. And I'm going to add a few widgets. So type in WP stream channel list and drag this to the box. And here are my uh, live channels. I'm going to do this again with video on demand. So WP stream video on demand list. And here are my videos on demand. Now let's preview our changes to see how it looks like to the regular user. But as you can see, there's not much to understand from this. So we will be needing a few titles just to explain what's happening. So I'm just going to add a few more sections first because I want to distribute the, these into free to view live channels, pay per view live channels, free to view video on demand and pay per view video on demand. So I'm going to be managing those after adding my widgets. I also want to add the titles. So I'm just going to create a heading, drag the heading over here and type in what these uh, videos are about or what these live streams are. So these are free to view lives. And I've added in the meantime, the other headings as well. The first one are the, the first one is free to view live channels. Second one is pay per view live channels. The third one is free to view video on demand. And the last one is pay per view video on demand. Now let's check it out again after updating it. So I'm previewing changes and here are my lists. Now I want to show you how to only show the active live channel. So only show active channels. So remember earlier we turned on a few channels, but not all of them. So only the channels we turned on are going to be visible. So this is going to be easier for your audience, for your viewers to see what is currently on as opposed to going on a random channel and finding out that no one is live streaming. So as you can see, someone is streaming on this channel. 
because it's only showing the active channels. Also, this is how a free to view video on demand looks like from the list. Of course, it's free to watch, but if your viewer wants to watch a pay-per-view live channel or video on demand, they will have to purchase it similar to what you've seen in our part three of this video streaming series. And that is it for this part of our video streaming series. We hope you've enjoyed the whole series and let us know if you like this type of content in series playlist type to show you step by step how you do everything and we'll make sure to create more videos such as this. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and click that notification bell to be the first to find out when we upload a new video. Bye.